So you just got yourself a beautiful new propane grill. What's the first thing you want to cook on it? You betcha, it's a steak. Now I'm going to show you how I like to make my steak on a propane grill to maximize flavor. Let's just get right into this. Now I'm cooking on the Monument Denali 405 Smart Grill. You may or may not notice that we are sitting at 700 degrees. Now I've had this preheating for about 10 minutes. Not bad. It's 32 degrees out right now with about 16 mile per hour winds. So that's not bad. 700 degrees, that's great searing temperature if you ask me. And you may notice that you can see your food through the grill. Now that's fun. Let's get started. Cast iron right inside. Now Monument does sell their own cast iron and it's on the way to my house. I don't have it yet. So as soon as I get it, we'll be using it inside the grill. You want your cast iron in there because of the sear. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Now I'm cooking some beautiful New York strips today. The way that I cook these goes well with any steak, whether you're doing a filet or a ribeye, any other steak you wanna do, this is a great method to cook your steak for maximum flavor. All right, now like I said, we are sitting at 700 degrees, so this baby's hot. Now this is butter of the gods. This is beef tallow. Now beef tallow is your friend and it is a great high temperature and flavorful searing option for your beef. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get it hot inside this cast iron pan, let it get real nice and hot, nice and melted. Now, if you have the foresight to know what you're cooking ahead of time, salt your steaks a couple hours ahead of time and put them in the fridge. Now, I'm just using salt. You feel free to use whatever kind of seasoning you want. Sometimes I put some rubs on them though, you know? Now, if you don't know where to get beef tallow, you can click in the description. I've got a video of how I make mine because guess what? It's pretty much free. Don't forget the edges, roll them, boom. Roll them, roll them. Okay, all right, folks, this is where we have fun. We're gonna get a sear, give it a light press down. And since we're cooking on propane, we're still cooking with fire. This is totally different than cooking with charcoal or anything else, smoke, whatever. Now they do offer a, a smoke box to go here, but the main thing we wanna do is we wanna get this coated in fat, get a beautiful sear. And what this fat is going to do, it's going to charge our fire up. So that when we put this over the fire, then the fire is going to start to kiss our steaks and we get that flavor of fire. And yes, fire does add flavor. Get a nice sear. Ooh, it's windy and cold. Let's get the other side. And then we only need, look at that, that is gorgeous. And then the fire is going to finish that sear up for us beautifully on both sides. And now we're just gonna let the fire finish the job after we've got our sear done. You can see that red, we've still got a ways to go on our gorgeous steaks. So the fire is going to finish them up beautifully for us. Now I'm sure that you probably have a, a couple of predictable questions and I'm gonna go ahead and answer them right now. Why is the grill still open when we're cooking our steaks? Whenever I'm cooking on a propane grill and I'm making steaks, I never shut the grill top. It's just how I do it. Uh, you're welcome to do it however you want to, but I don't want to bake my steaks. I just wanna let the cook from the bottom up and then when ready, then I'm gonna give them a flip. And I can see and control the fire all over the place. Now, the, oh God, that smells good. Now, the other predictable question is, the great thing about a propane grill is grill marks. I am not a grill mark kind of guy. When I see grill marks, I kind of see a missed opportunity for flavor. And that is just me, okay? I'm not knocking anybody else's steaks. Whenever I see a steak that has 100% coverage of sear, of crust, that is 100% flavor to me, okay? That's how I like my steaks. If you prefer your steaks that way, good on you. You do it your way. But for me, I like to see 100% sear on my steaks. They're looking beautiful. And the great thing about that beef tallow is that even though we're not cooking in the pan with it anymore, there is plenty of it on these steaks. And as it continues to cook, it's going to continue to crust up with fire. Now that Wagyu fat that you have left over in the pan, we don't have to waste it. Be careful, because we're gonna flame. It's all good. Oh, that's flavor, baby. Forward a little bit. I didn't get to get this one very much. See, we're getting some grill marks and that's totally accidental. But uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the nature of the, of the propane. We're looking beautiful. Now, I prefer my steaks medium rare. We're gonna give these just another minute and these are done. I wanna let these steaks rest for, you know, between five and 10 minutes, but it's not a bad idea to take some, temp some butter and add some butter to your rest. Not a bad idea at all. We love butter. So we started them in beef tallow, we finished them in butter. You know, not bad at all. And when we slice, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. That's just delicious. Is that Winnie? Oh, yep, Winnie's right there. All right, it's time to see how we did. We're just gonna go right down the pipe and then we'll slice them. Gorgeous. That, my friends, is perfection. So tender. Oh my goodness. Mm. That is wonderful. Now, 
There's a little bit of juice on the board. Don't worry, that's mostly melted butter. Let's finish our slice and I'll show you what we do here. Now, if you were able to salt a couple hours ahead of time, you won't have to worry. All of your bites of steak will have salt all the way through the core. But if you didn't have enough time to think that far ahead, just cut some nice thick slices, just like I'm doing right here. We got some hungry babies in the background. My one-year-old can eat steak like you wouldn't believe. Well, she's one and a half. All right, now just, just gonna spread our steak out a little bit. You wanna cut nice thick slices too. Don't cut really thin, guys. We're not making roast beef sandwiches here. And guys, this isn't prime New York strip. This is certified Angus. Tummy's rumbling. And now just take a little bit of extra salt and give it a little drizzle on all the pieces. Easy peasy. You just need a little bit for each and we're ready. Okay, here we go. I'm just going dead center because just give it a little dip in that steak juice and butter. <laughs> so tender, so full of flavor, so full of juice, perfect amount of salt. That is what dreams are made of. And as always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, time to eat.